And a very good evening, everybody. When you win 27 games and claim the Mondek Conference regular season title, you're going to win some postseason honors. And the Lady Tetons have three, three of them. Sophomore Taylor Moffitt has been named the MVP of the league. The transfer from Albany had an impact right away this winter. She averaged 16.6 .6 points a game, 3.4 assists, 3.7 rebounds, and knocked down 70 threes. Also a great leader, a 4.0 student, some four-year school, going to get very lucky to land this likable Aussie, that is for sure. Kansas, his bad horse, is a first-team selection. What a year for this Montana native. 14.6 points a game, 6.6 .6 rebounds, 2.3 assists. She plays both ends of the floor, 59 blocks, 39 steals. After a solid freshman season, she really put together a great sophomore year all arms and legs and a handful to defend as the Mondak Conference found out this winter. Well, and the coach of the year there, Skipper, the veteran Bill Triplett, guided his club to 27 wins and a regular season title, but the award bittersweet, his club felt the science, the Cats, for the third year in a row in the title game in OT at home. He recruited all the talent and despite not having a true center due to injury, almost won the title. Another great job by Mr. Triplett. The only bad thing about him, he's a Yankee fan and he's always on me about the Red Sox. Okay, on the men's side of things, easy, right? First team, Rex Sterling had a great freshman season with the Tetons. Uh, he was the go-to guy, averaged 19.6 points a game, 11.1 rebounds, 11.1, and he played well. The Tetons won when he was off. They did not. A great rebounder as well. Currently leads the nation with 163 offensive rebounds. Told me a few weeks back he loves playing ball in the state of North Dakota. Hope we get a chance to see him in a Teton uniform next year. We will see. His running mate was the second team selection, Trout Tyler Best. Also on Aussie, had a huge shooting night, uh, most times averaging 13.4 points a game, 5.3 rebounds, R uh, really came out in the second half of the year, very steady every night, and uh, became a kid you could count on to hit the big shot. Just a freshman, he will only get better and better. Now, folks, earlier this year, Roger Merritt stepped down as head football coach at Sydney after a long career. He was the head coach for 13 seasons, taking over for Mike Gear, and before that, a longtime member of the football staff that helped the Eagles win seven state titles in the 80s. He was on the staff for 39 years and along the way touched the lives of many a football player from Eastern Montana, including the head coach of the Kyle wrestling team, one Gresh Jones. Yeah, I mean... First of all, I'm related to Coach Merritt, so I know him very well. I see him every single time I go back, and he always gives me a hug and talks to me. So it's nice to see him. He had a great career at Sydney, and I mean, now he's still teaching and teaching up there, so he's still around the program and helping people out. So he kept that link going. I mean, Mike Gear's assistant, he yeah. was he went through it the whole time. Really gave a lot back to those kids. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, that's the point of teaching and coaching, right? right. To give back to those kids, and if we can do that and get a couple kids to get some good stuff out of it, it's a win. For us so so true so true had some playoff teams got things turned around always look forward to visiting with him uh, still involved with kids uh, Mike had him on last week uh, teaching young kids how to repair vehicles at Sydney and of course still a assistant track coach a good guy let's take a time out <laughs> 